What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sanchez405, coming at you. It's on the Warpath, and as always, make sure if you haven't, subscribe, hit that bell so you get notifications anytime we uh, have new content here on the channel, and like, comment, share this video out, because it is part five, my favorite number, and Dave Chappelle's favorite number, of the Who Is series, and we are talking about the position coaches. Finally, we've got... The coordinators out of the way, got the head coach out of the way. Now the guys who are supposed to be the teachers in the room, the quarterbacks coach, uh, the, the position coaches. But I just gave it away. I, we're going to be talking about the quarterbacks coach, and it is easy breezy Ken Zampezi, y'all, uh, is the new quarterbacks coach for our Washington Redskins. He takes over for Tim Arate, who was the quarterbacks coach in uh, – 2019 and he's gone he gone but anyway we've got a football lifer now here as the quarterback coach ken zampezi is the son of ernie zampezi and if that sounds familiar he has had stops with the jets the san diego Chargers, with the air coriel system working with dan fouts charlie joiner kellen winslow i think he even worked a year with joe gibbs when he was the oc out there in uh, San Diego, Dallas, uh, he took over for North Turner as the offensive coordinator there, won a Super Bowl there, New England, uh, he's there, uh, he was here in Washington back in 04 as an offensive consultant, and he worked with the LA Rams in the 80s, and then was an offensive co uh, consultant with the, um, with the St. Louis Rams, so he worked for both Rams locations, and, um, this, his son, he, he, he was able to feed his knowledge to his son, who uh, is our quarterback's coach. And Ken attended uh, University of San Diego. He was there for four years as a wide receiver, and he was a, a return specialist on the kickoff team and the punt return team. And uh, he had stops in college. He was a GA uh, for USC, and then uh, he went to Northern Arizona, was a wide receivers coach and offensive coordinator for a little bit there, was at Miami of Ohio, and he was the QB's coach, passing game coordinator, and then he got his crack, the egg cracked, and Ray Rhodes hired him as an offensive assistant with the Philadelphia Eagles, and after the 98 season, that they were fired, uh, Ray Rhodes was fired, and Zampezi followed him to Green Bay, where he would work with Mike McCarthy, former Green Bay Packers head coach and current Dallas Cowboys head coach, um, worked with him and the quarterbacks in uh, in Green Bay, which a room that included Brett Favre, Matt Hasselbeck, and Aaron Brooks. So Brett Favre, we know him, the NFL Ironman, uh, all those consecutive starts at the quarterback position. Matt Hasselbeck put together a good resume in uh in seattle for a while under mike holmgren and um aaron brooks as well uh who was in uh, new orleans for a while put together a couple of good seasons there so some good quarterbacks that he was able to work with uh in green bay and then in 2000 mike martz came a call and and welcomed him to st louis he was hired as an offensive assistant and with the greatest show on turf who better to learn from for than one of the most high-powered offenses and one of the better offensive minds at the time in Mike Martz. Uh, he was promoted to wide receivers coach uh, the following year, and he worked with Terry Holt, Isaac Bruce, Isaac Keem, and Ricky Prohl, guys who had won a Super Bowl. Uh, a Hall of Famer is, is on there with Isaac Bruce. And, uh, you know, T Torrey Holt's career speaks for itself. So he, he had some good tools to manage there. Uh, so <laughs> I think any uh, first-time NFL wide receiver coach would, would love to have a room like that. And then in 2 he was granted the title of passing game coordinator. So he's not really the offense coordinator, but he wasn't really a positions coach. Um, and then Marvin Lewis got hired in Seattle, at, excuse me, in Cincinnati, and uh, hired uh, Zampezi to be his quarterback's coach in 2003. He would spend uh, 14 years there in Cincinnati. He worked under offensive coordinators Bob Bartowski, Jay Gruden, Hugh Jackson, two of which became head coaches. Uh, we know the mental guy very well. Um, 
to much disregard to everybody in Redskins Nation. He had an opportunity to work with some decent quarterbacks there. John Kitna, Carson Palmer, Andy Dalton. Five Pro Bowls between uh, Dalton and uh, Palmer. And, you know, Palmer had a great season in 05 when then he got hurt against Pittsburgh in that playoff game. And, um, you know, then he was hired for uh, the offensive coordinator spot there, which that kind of was like, God, you were there for that long? And you didn't get a shot until 2016. You were there from 03 and let two other guys get promoted to offensive coordinator. I That ain't none of my business. But uh, they were 16th. Uh, they In 16, they were 24th in points. And they were 13th in yards. Um, and then in 2017... They couldn't get anything going in the first two games. They started out 0-2, only scored nine points. I think that Thursday night game, may, it may have been that Thursday. No, it wasn't the Thursday night game where he was got fired. But um, it, it, nine points in two games. Atrocious. Marvin Lewis said, I'm done with you. Be gone, boy. And he was gone. Uh, and then Hugh Jackson picked up the pieces uh, for him in 2018. And Hugh was actually fired. But he actually had an opportunity to work with Tyrod Taylor and Baker Mayfield was still looking to see what Baker's going to be doing, y'all, but who knows. And um, after Hugh Jackson was fired, he entered a uh, – he was fired at the end of the season, so Freddie Kitchens didn't retain him. And really, it started a, a weird 2019 for Zampezi. He landed with the AAF and the Atlanta Legends, so we know the story about them. The league folded, like, with – uh, after eight games or something crazy like that. And um, the Atlanta w was in a mess to begin with. Brad Childress was supposed to be the head coach. Uh, Mike Vick was supposed to be the offense coordinator. Richard Bartell was supposed to be on the team who was uh, a quarterback for the Redskins uh, in uh, 09 and, and was in the preseason in 2010. But Brad Childress resigned. Michael Vick resigned. Bartell resigned. Atlanta was awful on offense. Uh, they should they just folded up the shop. So I don't know if their hindsight was twenty twenty or, or they were they were seeing something there. But Sam Pizzi was a promoter to the offensive coordinator under Kevin Coyle, who was the interim head coach at the time. And um, yeah, after the fourth game, didn't do much. League folded. Then he went to Florida, bounced back. The name that Sam Pizzi name is strong, y'all. Because he landed at, in the swamp in Florida. And he was there as a, a quality control analyst. And then uh, back in January, Ron Rivera called him, Ken and Peasy, saw the record, uh, saw the resume, and was like, hey, let's make this happen. And um, Zan Peasy is now in charge of the quarterback's room uh, with the Redskins, Dwayne Haskins. He, he's going to be tasked with helping develop him, helping – teach him some things that he's passed along to Andy Dalton uh, or or not pass along to Andy Dalton. Uh, you know, what he's worked with with Baker Mayfield, Tyron Taylor as well, uh, Carson Palmer. And, uh, you know, he's been in offense all his life. So hopefully, hopefully this uh, this is a reinvigoration for him because, you know, if, if, you're, if you're somewhere for like 10 plus years, stuff gets stagnant. But I still don't know how it took him that long to become an offensive coordinator, 10-plus years uh, with Cincinnati, and Marvin didn't see that in him. Maybe that's saying something. I don't know. But, um, yeah, Ken Zampezi has, uh, has a track record of working with quarterbacks. Um, you know, is his resume impressive? The people he's worked with, somewhat impressive, especially early on in his, in his career. But... You know, in Cincinnati, that offense was good at times, but they never could get over the hump. Um, you know, that the guy, what, he, he only coached 18 games as an offensive coordinator and got fired two games into his second season. So I don't know. Maybe he should just be a career position coach. And that works for some people. But, um, you know, as far as resume go, the uh, the history behind the name, um, yeah, I, I can see why you make this higher here. So he, he's going to be tasked with helping Scott Turner out. But y'all, tell me what you think about Easy Breezy Ken Zampezi as the new quarterbacks coach for our Washington Redskins. Like I said, I don't know if it's a good move or a bad move. I, I'm just like, meh. 
So <laughs> we we'll see. Uh, as I always say, we will see come uh, come season time how his tutelage has helped Dwayne Haskins and Kyle Allen for that matter. But uh, as always, tell me what you think. Comment. Uh, you know, I always respond to them. I love you guys. Appreciate all the support that we are getting here uh, with this series and with the channel overall. And I, as always, I say here, I'm Sanchez405. Love, peace, and hell. And I'll be talking to you all real soon. I'm out.